Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Today, we're making better bacon Brussels sprouts. You're gonna love these. We have bacon, onion, little vinegar, tiny bit of sugar, yummy eating. We have sliced up our Brussels. We washed them, took the ends off, and sliced them in half. And then I took a portion of an onion and sliced it in thin strips. So we're going to cook those um, in here as well. Preheated an iron skillet, and we're just going to chop up a little bit of bacon um, to help flavor these Brussels. I'm just going to cut some off the end and throw it in my skillet to brown. should be enough to make it delish. So this will be the oil too that we use for cooking. So we're gonna let this get nice and crunchy. Okay, for those of y'all who've been watching me for a while, probably thinking why is she using bacon. There are some things I really love bacon in, okay? One is broccoli salad, and I'm making this recipe to kind of mimic broccoli salad, except it's just gonna be a little different, um, and I love them in that. I also love bacon in, well, of course, my breakfast, and um, I love bacon and baked beans, so you're not gonna see me use it a lot uh, but when I do use it, um, it's because there's certain things that I like it in. A lot of people like it in everything, but, uh, and if you like it in everything, of course, use it. Now, this is good and warm. It's nice and crunchy enough. I'm going to go ahead and add my veggies to it. Now we're going to let these simmer just a minute and then I'm going to add a little bit of liquid to kind of steam them just a little bit and then we'll let it cook off, okay? But first, I'm just going to let them sit here and kind of sizzle first. All right, we're going to put in a half tablespoon of um, sugar and a half tablespoon of vinegar into a cup of warm water. Stir it up. And we're gonna pour this over our brussels. And it's still got a little bit at the bottom, so I'm gonna rinse it out and get it in there. A little sugar. You can swirl it a little bit, I guess. So. Now we're just gonna let these cook all the way down, just like this. And um, it'll steam the brussels and then it'll reduce and then the sugar will be left in the bottom with the bacon grease and the onion and we're going to wait till it sizzles and then we're going to serve it up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn these one time. Good. And we've got to let all of that liquid um, boil out of there and let it start sizzling before we serve these up. Now we're going to let this sit in there and sizzle for a little while. You can tell most of all that uh, water has pulled off of it. See the bottom of the skillet? But I want it to kind of sit there and sizzle with the bacon for a minute and see if we can't get the bacon a little bit more crunchy before we serve it up. Now our bacon put salt in here already, so if you're low sodium, don't add extra, but we're going to just put a little bit of salt um, in this. And I'm also going to add a little pepper to it, black pepper.
Then if you're man or y'all like uh, hot stuff, you can always add red pepper flakes. Those are pretty too. I want y'all to see the skillet. See how nice and dry it is? All right, it's time to taste this. I'm sure it's gonna be delish. That's really good. The Brussels are not overdone. They're just nice and tender. Still got their shape. The bacon it just adds a great flavor with a tiny bit of sugar. It's not a lot, but just enough to make it just really good. You're gonna love this recipe.